kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. So far, you're the only one who's insisted we can't work together. We might. If your Inquisition would recognize the Chantra's authority. There is no authority until another Divine is chosen. In due time, Andraste will be our guide, not some dazed wanderer on a mountainside. Remind me, why are you allowing the Chancellor to stay? Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between Mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chantry's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between Mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. Well, let's hope we find solutions and not a cathedral full of chancellors. The stuff of nightmares. Mark, if you will. I'm certain the Maker is less amused. With passioned breath does the darkness creep. Thank you for it all that you are doing to me. The night, the of Herald of Andraste. How fares your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task. Such as closing the bridge is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, even her husband for a time. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. I will try to follow in Andraste's footsteps as best I can. If you like. But Andraste forged her own path, guided as she was by her vision. Look to Andraste for guidance, but ultimately, the Maker has made this your task to fulfill. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the First Blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots who trapped and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. It sounds as though it was necessary at the time. Perhaps. They committed acts I find reprehensible, but they lived in a time with no circle. There was no justice, no safety from the danger of mages, or abominations, except for them. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. We're more zealous than the Templars and the Seekers. 
Well, I suppose that explains Cassandra. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was divine, Justinia's message. That when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. I don't believe I've had the chance to speak candidly with a revered mother. Can you tell me about the Chantry? I presume you mean deeper questions about the organization itself. I trust the Chantry at Ostwick taught you the basics. What is your stance on magic? Andraste put it simply. Magic must serve man, not rule over him. However, those words must be put into the proper historical context. Andraste led a rebellion against the Javinta Imperium, whose magisters controlled most of the world at the time. Even then, she never called for all mages to be put to death. She believed in peaceful coexistence. I don't recall the Chantry being as tolerant of magic as you describe. No. The Chantry is an imperfect vessel, pulled in every direction by those who would steer its course. Yet the Templars rebelled precisely because Divine Justinia was not restrictive enough. Perhaps the Inquisition will find a better way. Why does the Chantry allow only human women to become priestesses? The official doctrine is that elves and dwarves have turned further from the Maker than humanity. And as for men, the chant holds that they are more vulnerable to anger or passion. But in truth, it is simply political, added after Andreste's death, like too many of our beliefs. If you don't believe these restrictions are what Andraste wanted, why haven't you tried to change them? Has the current state of the world not taught you the folly of fighting too many battles at once? I chose to use what power I had to help peasants forgotten by the nobles of Orlais. I believed there would be time to address their inequality under the Chantry once we had saved them from starving. There were calls for an exalted march to put down the Mage Rebellion. What was your opinion? It was ignorant gossip. An exalted march only succeeds when it carries the will of the people. Even then, it cannot be undertaken lightly. People are too easily frightened. We cannot destroy everything they fear. An exalted march is justified only against a true threat to this whole world. It is an offense to the Merkel to use it as a political bludgeon, or as a means of spreading the chant of light. What about the exalted march that conquered the elves? That is a hotly debated matter in some circles of the Chantry. The elves had conquered Montsemard and threatened Val Royo itself. They were not helpless victims. But even then, Orlais was the only nation to provide troops. It was hardly an exalted march of all the faithful. The Maker wishes his world to spread by example, not by war. We win no converts with blood. Farewell, revered mother. Farewell. I greet you. How are the people doing, after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the Majors and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of the Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, at the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured, as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed, I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. 
Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chantal Crypt. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress du Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. Farewell, revered mother. Until next time. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you. Any word? Nothing yet. Let us begin. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through.
city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people from us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. We're doing all this to get help with the Breach. Maybe this is our chance to get the Templars on our side. Perhaps. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. People of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, no servant of anything beyond his selfish greed. And do you know everything the Maker commands? Look up in the sky. I alone survived the breach, and I can end it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. Was that display supposed to impress me? 
On the contrary, it wasn't for you at all. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. And what if I really am the Herald of Andraste? You have nothing. No influence, no power, and certainly no holy purpose. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? <laughs> Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are the Maker's Chosen? I do believe it. Do you have a better explanation? Several, but are they the truth? I am left to question all I have been taught. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us... And your Inquisition is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. 
There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. How many Templars turned on the Chantry exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's Will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. The Chantry's useless, and the Templars... Andraste, I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but... If your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you, and not me. Well, he is... The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. What's that? An arrow with a message? It's a lost without her. I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. This is bullshit! There must be something here.
If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. What do you want in exchange for the Mage's help? Oh. I haven't promised the Inquisition our help yet. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Andraste, how much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me, arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just a person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. They say I'm the Herald of Andraste, but who are you, and what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? 
Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Why can you do really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. I'd like to join. All I know about you or your group is that I followed a random trail into a trap. What trap? You knocked, he cracked. It's... Look, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. If you don't listen down here, too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. So who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have explained to them that free help is good. Back there you wanted to know if I glowed. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere and now you glow. Andraste's Herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say on all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. You sound like a thief who acts out petty revenge fantasies. And that might be bad? Oh, right. You want to prop that guy up so I can say my sorries? Bad things should happen to bad people. We find someone not so bad, maybe he'll end up not so dead. Good enough? You say that like it's obvious, but you didn't know him. I knew about him. That's just rumor. Look, I'd have been fine stripping his guards and nicking his stuff. Turns out he deserved worse. Or was him trying to kill you a good thing? Are you the baddie? Didn't think so. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these. You have merchants who buy that piss, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand.
Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the fate. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. I was chosen by Andraste herself to carry out the Maker's will. You dare to speak of the Maker's will with foul magic dripping from your hands. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? He insulted my honor. I want him dead. And this, Marquis, is why one must always be courteous to one's fellow guests. Someone be a dear and clean this mess up. We can't have him cluttering up the dance floor. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Can you get away with killing a nobleman like that? He attempted to draw his weapon, unprovoked, in the presence of witnesses. Duels are not fought in the drawing room. By Chevalier Code, his life was forfeit from the moment his hand fell to his hilt. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal Magus of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to who? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. So you're in favor of returning the mages to the circle, then? Where else can mages safely learn to master their talents? We need an institution to protect and nurture magic. Maker knows, magic will find neither on its own. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. 
The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition. The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I'm sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I'm a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Does that mean you'd be aiding the Inquisition from the Imperial Palace? Ordinarily, I would be happy to serve as liaison to the court, but these are not ordinary times. The veil has been ripped apart and there is a hole in the sky. It is now the duty of every mage to work towards sealing the breach. And so I would join the Inquisition on the field of battle. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. <laughs>